a highly requested worst engines or not. Today we are talking about the Toyota 2AZ FE engine. Member of the AZ family, it is essentially identical to the 1AZ engine, it just has a larger displacement. So this is an aluminum block with sleeves, aluminum cylinder heads, it's an inline four dual overhead cam engine design. This engine was produced in some capacity from 2000 all the way to 2018. There was a pretty big upgrade done in 2008 to correct some issues, which we will get into soon. This can typically be found in your RAV4s, Scion XB, Scion TC, Corolla, Camry, Matrix, a lot of these smaller, more compact Toyota vehicles. So there's three different versions of this unit. The 2AZ FE, which is the primary engine design. There's the 2AZ FE. XE, which is only found in hybrids, and then the 2AZ FSE, which actually wasn't sold in the United States. Toyota's primary goal behind this was fuel economy and efficiency. Since it is an all aluminum design, it's very lightweight, it is very compact. This actually made it pretty popular for swaps into some of the smaller vehicles like the MR2s. We all know that no engine is without its flaws. This engine is no different. So starting with the most well-known of all of the problems, of course, oil consumption and this typically starts to ha happen around 50,000 miles which is very early for an engine to start consuming oil and oil consumption is not necessarily the end-all be-all it's not necessarily something fatal however especially for people who don't keep up with their proper maintenance it can end up being very problematic if you have one of these you definitely want to use a heavier weight oil you definitely want to check and change your oil regularly they did come out and say that the cause of this problem was the piston rings there was too much of a gap in them which would allow the oil to pass through and basically get burnt up in the combustion chamber the other pretty well-known problem with these is going to be with the cylinder head bolt so the threads were known to become weakened and to strip and that would cause coolant to leak into the cylinders out of the head gasket and we all know that this can be a really big problem if it's not addressed early on now, I don't think either one of these issues is necessarily something that would deem this on the worst engine list. However, if you are someone who might not wanna keep up with your regular maintenance or might not have to keep checking your engine constantly, you might wanna go with one of Toyota's other engine options. Now, while I wouldn't consider either one of these to be extremely fatal, now, while I don't think this engine is anywhere near at the top of our worst engines list, I do think that if you now, while I certainly don't think this tops the charts of the worst engines list, I do think that Toyota has a lot of other engine options out there that would probably be better. In 2008, they did redesign this engine to help get rid of that piston ring issue. They also made some cam upgrades to help with power and torque and tweaked a couple of other things to help the performance side of this engine. Now, I certainly wouldn't put this at the top of the worst engines list. However, I do think that there are a lot of other Toyota engines out there that are certainly better than this.